Welcome to the world of Cisco Wireless Networking. My name is Vinay and I am the Community Manager for the Wireless Domain. In this video, we will see how to convert an access point from Autonomous to LVAP and LVAP to Autonomous. In this video, we have used 1230 AG access point. In order to convert the Autonomous to LVAP, we need to make sure that we download the iOS and LVAP image on the local machine. LVAP image will have RCV keyword stands for recovery. We need TFTP D32 server software on the local machine in order to transfer the file to the access point. We need to download the LVAP image from cisco.com. Click on download software. Go to products and select wireless. In wireless, we will get the first option as access point. Under access point, we need to select Cisco Aeronet 1230 AG series and then Cisco Aeronet 1230AG access point. We need to select software on chases. Since we are performing autonomous to lightweight mode upgrade, we need to select the first image. Now you will realize that it has RCV keyword which is used as recovery. In order to save time, I have already downloaded this file on my local machine. Now we have to download the TFTP D32 software. On the TFTP D server software, we need to look for .exe file and run the setup. Now this TFTP D32 will be used to transfer the ISO image to the access point. As we download the LVAP image, now we need to download the iOS image for later converting the access point back to autonomous. On cisco.com download software section, this time select iOS image. For example, I'm using JED1. Please note, you will not see the keyword RCV for this image. I have the image downloaded on my machine. Please connect the Ethernet cable between your machine and access point and make sure both are in the same subnet. Connect the console cable and use the hyperterminal console access. And check whether you are able to ping the local machine and the access point. Once we confirm the connectivity is good, we will issue the magic command to convert the access point to LVAP. Now let's go to the access point and perform the conversion. Show version confirm we have the access point running on the iOS image that is 1200K9W7MX12388JEE. On the TFTP D32 server, browse to the folder which have the LVAP image downloaded. Click on show directory and select the file. Click copy in order to copy the image name and hit OK. Now we need to run the command in order to convert the autonomous to LVAP. Archive download hyphen software force hyphen reload 
forward slash override forward slash sorry tftp colon slash slash and the IP address of the tftp server and then we need to paste the file name which we copied from tftp32 server and hit enter the file will be examined and extracted you will notice that the file transfer will be initiated the progress percentage will increase once the file is fully extracted the current file version in the flash will be deleted after the previous file is deleted the new file will be installed in flash now let's see what type of lights will get on the access point while this process is going on? The bottom light will start flashing followed by the top two and then all the lights will be on. You can get more information in the data sheet of the access point. Normally it takes more than a minute. Now as you see all the lights are on now it will start flashing in a sequence. Once we have all three lights start flashing, which indicates the access point has been reloaded successfully. Let's go back to the access point. After the reload, the access point will load the new LVAP image. As you can see, it's loading in the flash. Let's do a show version and verify the image name. There we go. C1200RCVK9W8MX. So as you can see that we have the autonomous access point converted to LVAP. Now let's see how to convert the LVAP to autonomous. Now in order to convert the LVAP to autonomous mode, we need to run the following commands. Debug LVAP console CLI or debug capvap console CLI. Config terminal, interface FA0. And once we are in the interface, IP address, subnet mask, and make sure the subnet is same for AP and the machine. And, and then archive download software, force reload override, TFTP, and the image name the same way we did when we converted autonomous to LVAP. Now let's go to the AP and run the command to, in order to convert the LVAP to autonomous. Let's go to the access point and perform the upgrade. Debug LVAP console CLI. Config T interface FA0 and then the IP address followed by the mask. We need to make sure that the subnet is same as we have on the laptop. No shirt and followed by end. Let's confirm and see if we have the correct IP by doing show IP interface brief. Now the main command, archive download hyphen software, followed by force reload, override and the IP address of the TFTP server with the image name, which we copied. So on the TFTP, we need to select the folder in which we have the iOS file. 
check the directory and copy the file name and paste and hit enter the same way the file will be extracted and we can see that the file transfer will start normally it takes around two minutes it deletes the previous file from the flash and adds a new one after the reload which takes around one minute so once it's load the file it will reboot with a new file let's verify by doing a show version there we go we have the access point successfully converted to LVAP to autonomous You can also refer some of the useful documents available on CSC. LVAP to Autonomous Conversion and the document ID is 14960. LVAP Mode to Autonomous Using TFTP Server 15126 and Upgrading Autonomous Access Point to Lightweight Mode on Cisco.com. Thank you for watching and do let us know what all topics you would like to see on CSE.